All right, my lovelies. How y'all doing out there? Now, let's come back. And we're going to do something, I think, that's brief. <laughs> and I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. So, I just want to see how you graduated from these cards. Okay? Let's see. Now, the first one is letting go. Now, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, baby. It's time to shine. Look like you're in your north nude. Of course, you should know that by now. Now, of course, we are all at different rates in this thing. However, most of you guys are headed north. All right? <laughs> now, let me see. Let me pull. All right. So, uh, I should have me some more cards to model. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. However, let's try. Now, I don't know how this is going to work out. So, let's see. Of course, these are my go-to for a nice little calm reading. You know what I'm saying? Something that's a little mellow cello. A little mellow cello. Look, we got three surprise cards. The ring on you. Alright. I'm going to put them right over here. Where they belong. So we got the first one, which is Breeze. Now these, they showing up, but I'm not sure if they want me to take that, so I'm not. Breathing up, baby, breathe, breathe, breathe. Now it do look like, it just made me pay attention to how this light is shining on you. Looking at the light, right there, right there, right there. Now it do look like through this meditation or whatever it is that you're doing, that you're coming into balance. Now, I like that she got a little star and a little uh, moon in her ear. <laughs> Tap in, boo. Comfortable. Look at all the greenery around you. You got plants and things. Now, maybe you want to initiate some plants in your life. Look like you're comfortable in your space. Give me a little feng shui. Now, you might even be going on vacation. Now, you know, I'm just looking at all this water as she look out this window. Oh, you got a nice view like that. Very nice, I must say, indeed. Now, this breeze could indicate, listen, wasn't in the, weathering the storm. You know what I'm saying? With all this water out here. Let's see. Now, you could have nice long red hair. You don't have to. Light brown hair. A brunette. Now, you may have pink decor, if that's what you like. <laughs> mauve. Now, mauve and brown actually looks nice together, and brown put those three combinations. Now, I done seen somebody with all pink and jealousy. Unless you want to stay single, don't do that. <laughs> you got your man all up in the pink house. Now you got breathe and calm coming out here. Now that's a lot. We're going to put that back. Now, there does seem to be some sense of ray of sunshine that's going to cascade down on your situation. Whatever that may be. I'm just looking at the calm. And it's rays. It's right on this distant horizon. Like something is arising, boo. Mm-hmm. 
And maybe that's your consciousness. That's bringing in some peace through that connection. In regards to your emotions, because all this water. You look like you're smiling. You may have this burst of new energy. You may smile upon your face. Now, these colors actually do look good together, I must say. But I don't know, I mentioned something in regards to the decor, the, the if you want to stay single. <laughs> now, I was just joking, but yeah, I think you want to consider uh, the comfortability of your counterpart. You know? Think it through, boo. <laughs> yeah, you got the star showing up again with shine. Something, something like a ripple effect. I'm just looking at the way the uh, water is there. You know how you throw the stone in the water and it gets that ripple effect. Now, I'm not sure if these cards is going to work, but we're going to find out. What is this breeze? Now, these cards is... Mm, I don't know how to explain them. But we got three coming out here, and we're going to keep courage on shine. And you have dreams and say what you mean. Hmm. Now this is dreams with the number three. Say what you mean with the number 18, which is nine, transformation. And you have courage here with three. Now, this is 33. So you know we love to see 33, that master number. You could be 33. You could be a life path number three. You could be a life path number nine. However, I definitely see 333 with 12 at the bottom. Now, at the bottom of the deck is victim consciousness. Now, we got pride and alchemy up next. Now, it looks like you're going to be turning some type of bad situation into something good. Now, I want to say... You might have something to say to somebody that you may need to stay calm in regards to. Now, it might have something to do with your dreams, whatever they may be. It may be the dreams that you have in regards to a relationship. However, look at him with this light. With shine. With courage. Now, either you or somebody else is in victim consciousness. Now, victim consciousness is faltering blame not taking accountability or even holding on to past traumas bringing them into the next relationship I want to say could be a, a couple of things now maybe look at possibilities and friends now it doesn't have to be an intimate partner but it do look like somebody may not want to hear what somebody got to say or it might sting or something like that. Look at the, the, the tension. The tension, the tension, the tension. And maybe somebody else's focus is elsewhere. Now, I don't know what cards to pull from. Now, these cards did come out with it. 
and this one is smiling caution. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna line these up to the side. I'm gonna put them back and see what come out. Cause I don't have enough information. <laughs> As I never do. Okay. So that's why I have a thousand cards up here. Let me see. Look. Oh, this is the cards. But look. That's what I did do. Energy and boundaries make so much sense. Now, somebody may be crossing their boundaries. Now, energy is, you know, communication. It looks like community, you know. However, boundaries is the next. And look, what's at the bottom of the day? Now, somebody might be. I don't know if this is necessarily your energy, boo. That's in victim consciousness, I want to say. Now, we got 18 and 18. Look, I told you, spirit speaks. And whatever, say what you mean. It's something in regards to your destiny. Yeah, so this is all about that journey of life with abundance. You doing it for your family? That may make you some carnage, and you done got hip to something? And maybe somebody trying to block your path? And staying under that low frequency is blocking your messages from the most high? To bring in that abundance, taking that actions? Something is going on here. Now, what cards can I pull? Let me think, y'all. Let me think just for a minute. Because I think, um, all right, we're going to get a little, 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 little newsy. <laughs> Let's pull some of these. Now, we got two extra cards. They actually belong over there. And what is this? Discover your life purpose and self-sabotage. Y'all, it gets creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to say what you mean. Now, even though this is the masculine looking out, maybe he don't want to hear what you got to say. Or like what you got to say about a new direction. I'm trying to get his attention. Now, it doesn't, it could be vice versa. I'm going to just put it that way. Whoever's, whoever's who. Now, I wanted to look at the numbers. Because you got 29. Now, I think that whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. Because it's 29, 11. Or have the ability to be. With destiny and dreams. Now, you may have dreams, visions, and things of that nature. Something going on here. You might connect with animals. Yeah, look at you. With the wings. Yeah. And maybe that's that energy that's holding on to you. Somebody may be in victim consciousness with pride here. But you're the alchemist. You can take this situation and make it work out for you, boo. I think there's some boundaries that need to be met. 
Now you can definitely be saying 999 because we have 36, 18, twice. Both equating to, uh, got the master number down here too. Wow, that's big, y'all. That's big. Now let's see, let's get a little bit more newsy. <laughs> Little bit more newsy. Now, what is this dream over here? Is it these spirits? Is it these? Is it these? Is it these? Is it these, these? Healing. The thirty-six. And energy. Now maybe you got energy healing properties. However, I think you're going to heal through this, whatever this situation is. Now I do want to look up what the peacock means. Because there's something going on with the peacock. Hey, look, 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 look. The number 33. And under that is childlike expression. Now, somebody might have a childlike expression with this victim consciousness. However, it can go both ways. It's good, lighthearted, things of that nature. Now, maybe you need to assert yourself. You know, even though we light workers and live in love and light, you got to speak up for yourself, baby. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with putting a little bass in your voice. Listen. I got tired of playing with these folks out here in these streets. Say what you mean and mean what you say. That's what it say. Say what you mean. Now, I don't know why this keeps going to my little game. But I'm not trying to play you right now. What this peacock mean? I forgot, y'all. Beauty, new beginnings, protection, self-expression, as well as a spiritual awakening. The peacock spirit animal is the epitome of beauty. This graceful, powerful animal offers lessons about self-love, honor, integrity, and the importance of facing... It don't give me all that. Radical renewal, rebirth, immortality. They remind us to shed old and make way for the new. Yeah, that's probably what you got to tell somebody. To beat it. <laughs> I'm thinking about why fools fall in love. And uh, Vivica Fox and Frankie. What did Morris Levy tell her? He said, he told me, he told me to beat it. <laughs> oh, y'all, that was a classic moment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait. What is this call? <laughs> I told you. Enlightenment. This is you. Are you tapped in with this calm and all that rays of light with up right here with your destiny? With 27, then another nine. And divine support is at the bottom of the deck. What a big old 30 right there. Now, Spirit said you have a positive outlook. You just need to do what needs to be done. 
And then all this purple sitting right in the middle of this with destiny and this power. Now, it do look like you may be getting those downloads, just like I said, with these cow lines. And remember, you might be getting communication through flickering light technology. Now, you might have got a lot of downloads in regards to this eclipse and stuff like that. And you need to put up some uh, healthy boundaries, I want to go. Don't let nobody cage you in, boo. Now, you might got a little white picket fence around your house. Don't have to. What is this shine and courage? Now, I still ain't got enough information. Oh, this just this making me want to be nosy. We're going to take this one for this face down. Decisions with courage. And number 31. Now you got decisions to make. And right here I'm looking at surrender. Courage again. And you have blessings with the number 44. Await you, my darling. Now we got 44 and 33 showing up here. And I'm looking at it. And I am loving it. I still don't know, have enough information. I was trying not to use those cards, but I always got to go back to them. How about these? Let's see. I'm so glad y'all be so patient with your girl. I really am. And look at the videos. Leave me your little comments and stuff. Glad you find them entertaining. Look, 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 look. <laughs> this is coming out on dreams. Now, it could just represent being open. Healing. Breathe. Now, uh, you may be the problem. Now, it could be a she too. However, he kind of depicts the sensual aspect of the situation, you want to say? However, this is at the bottom of the deck, telling you to pack light. Somewhere you about to go, they can't go, baby. I don't know. If they don't get it together. Now, this is the Ten of Spades, which is the Ten of Swords. Now, what's that one to come out? Yeah, it's time. You see it? The clock. Tickety top top. An ending. What is this time? Now, I'm simply speculating here, I guess, at this point. Now, you got a messenger. Now, this is some type of wish fulfillment, and it all depends on... Look how he's looking at you. <laughs> With his shirt all open, but look at you. Can you blame him? Woo! Now, let me stop. <laughs> Now, this does with some type of wish fulfillment. Now, it could be good or bad, however. It all depends on... Let's see what the next card is. We got some rumble. What, hi, rubbles. Is that how you say it? You know, the uh, destruction. Let's see. What she going to follow up with? Now, maybe this person see you as a wish fulfillment. Man or woman. Maybe that letter is uh, you saying something that in a hand. I'm going to read the card out for you so you can see. Uh-oh. 
Now, I don't know if this is the same person. Yeah, he's looking at the star, and that was the time. And then I say something about the rubble, the bridge. Maybe somebody done burnt the bridge or something. You got 37, 38, 16, and 28. He 28. This is 28, but they will be. Mm. Let me see. There was one card, spirit. We're going to take the first one off the top. Hey, it came right back out. We're going to take both of them. Now, do you want the key to your heart? With the number 33? Huh. We're going to take both of them. We're going to take it. I don't know. I don't do. Now I think they actually the same person. Or uh, maybe you got a choice. <laughs> I don't know, boo. I did say somebody got their eye on something else. I don't know. Let me see what they doing. <laughs> What I got, tiny violin? <laughs> With this victim consciousness? Telling you to discover your self worth? Now I can go either way. Hey, okay. and at the bottom of the, the deck is the tree of life. Now somebody might see somebody as they blessings. Life force, energy vampire. Let me see what's coming out of these cards, y'all. I just want to see. Let me, let me, let me just compromised with a D. Hmm. Secret admirer, rock bottom. Hmm. Courthouse, viral, and master intuitive. Now, courthouse does give me judgment or justice or magic wand that says something about seduction. Yeah, yeah. that's what that could mean. Rise of the sleeping giant, and they see your halo. I told you, somebody think you they life force or something like that going on here. But let me see. Let me uh, pull from my cards. Because, child, listen, that's the only way I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty of it all. <laughs> like, I'm tired of it. And all these cards is falling. Now, maybe something is falling away. Let me see. I gotta figure it out. You gotta heal again on healing. And Chiron. that movie that movie keep coming up every reading cross pollinate and authority with the number three 28 now I look like 28 is the person that needs to heal and again there's no gender but it is showing up as a masculine y'all I, I got to say that and then you got the 10th house with authority now, there could be some sense of abuse of power going on here with this decision. Take authority over your own life. Now, cross-pollinate does say to um, gather up 
outside resources, I want to say. Kyra, let me read it. Let me read it. And we're going to slide them up under the bottom and we're going to move on to the tower. Okay. Let me see. I don't know. These cards help me get to the nitty gritty gritty of it all. And I put my little books up. There they go. They help me. They help me. They help me now. Chiron. Let's see. Now it says find purpose in your problems. Hard-earned wisdom is now relevant and needed. You don't have to assign casualty. You may never know why you went through a difficult time, but you can't put what you learned from it to good use. Even if you never quite heal in this place of karmic tenderness, you have the wisdom to pass on once you metabolize the information. This situation may feel familiar, but if you can't remember a story to go with it, it may be left over from the past. A chapter review of what your soul already knows. If an old pain is triggered, have compassion for yourself. You are more than your troubles. You know the route through, and now it's time to practice what you know. Once you have a solution, add it to your toolkit. If this situation stretches and tests you, take it as training for the hero within. What you are learning now can be your secret sauce in the future. We'll breathe in dreams. Now, what this do with a shirt open, it does give me the root chakra. Getting to the root of the situations, however that is involving your Intimate pleasures, I want to say. I'm just looking at how she's all cuddled up and hugged up. Even though it's a lion. Okay. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Now this could be a past relationship. It doesn't have to be anything current. And again, you know, retrograde and this eclipse was supposed to bring up some situations so you can finally put them to rest. But it could be something current, I must say. However, I do see a lot of good things going on. Because at the bottom of the deck is discover, discover your life perfect, purpose with this tree and blessings. Okay. Now what's the bottom over here? Clarify. Getting clarity. <clears throat> However, you need to clarify. Now, um, the challenge is the situation can set off touchy memories or poke you where it still hurts. Shrapple can hurt as much as coming out as it does going in. Take this opportunity to heal so those old places can transform. Now it says, the gift is allow the pain and troubles of the past to become the wisdom and compassion of your present moment. Now it look like you learned a lot. Now, again, this lady, let me read that out for you, too. Let me read her first, and then we're going to go to cross-pollinate and see how they um, collaborate. Coincide, I want to say. Now, where's she at? The, the, what is it again? Hello. It's number one. The Ryan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says, I'm always bringing news. Look around me to see what it includes. I might be coming to visit or bringing you some changes. I am fast and I am always on the move. 
If you see a negative card close by, you will probably not enjoy the reply. Now, I don't necessarily see this as a bad card because this is the master number looking like you're getting the key to something. Now, somebody might have the key to your heart or you might have the key to your heart, but I don't know. You got two masculines on each side. But let me see. Now, let me see what cross-pollinate me. Now, <laughs> as I say that with two masculines on the side. <laughs> oh, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with you, girl. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's the number three. Now, you can be saying three, three, three if I didn't say it. Now it says words are at the heart of an issue you are facing. And not just any words. And this is right here on Say What You Mean. <laughs> now it says, um, but real dialogue, not just any words, but real dialogue with Say What You Mean with enlightenment now and calm. And calm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it said, if you feel the tension in the situation, see what is blocking the lines of communication and be op and open up the aperture. Listen to the grapevine and cross pollinate. Gather and share information. Bits of truth may float in gossip. She bringing in some type of information, the key to some information. Now that is not a heart in there. However, it's the number 33. Now, that's the 8 of diamond. Which would be the 8 of pentacles. Hmm. Let me see. Now, it says, talk to people as if they are siblings, true egos. If something is bothering you, find a place to unpack it and get it on the table and take a good look. Then talk it over in depth. A friend or a therapist, or write it in a journal. All right, now let's see. The challenge is the situation may be more complex than you think, so be willing to dig in. Gemini energy can be shallow and oversimplified as it encourages breath rather than death. So you have to add the death consciously. And you have breathe over here. Mm. Now the gift is, Gemini gift is an open mind and a sense of universal siblinghood. We are all in this together. The souls know how to find itself back to an equilibrium. If we just let all parts communicate, Help the unexpressed feelings, persons, and elements within the community be heard. Now, I told you, it looked like somebody ain't trying to hear something. Look at that hand on her ear, walking away. He looking like, you heard me. <laughs> They're like, you mad that you ain't trying to hear it. Now, I don't know exactly what it is that y'all going through. I really don't. But I'm just trying to give you the what the message is here. Now, maybe somebody is really trying to get you to be open. This gate on this cage is open. And we got the master number showing up. Three times. I mean, two times. What 44? What blessings? Now, you know, if this person is not serving you or you're not serving them, if y'all can't get to that equilibrium, that compromise, Maybe those just need to be some healthy boundaries met here. Let's see now. Let's see what this 48 is. Now, you are being asked to step up and take over the next level of your personal authority. It's hard to build something without a clear blueprint. So look at the definition of a strong leader and decide whether you need to amend to it. Remember how you felt as a kid? All right, we're going to move past that. What's the challenge? 
Now, it says, a bully is a parodity of truth leadership. Be careful not to mistake power over other peoples as equals to empowerment within. A bully is a parodity of true leadership. Be careful not to mistake power over other people as equal to empowerment within. That's what it says. Now, okay, now the gift is wherever you are in your evolution, it's time to take the next step up the mountain of leadership, empowerment, and accomplishment. What authority and shine the decision and courage? Now, maybe the masculine is trying to step up because he got flowers and he got a shirt open on one side. Maybe he came in like this <laughs> and put his clothes on, left his shoes off. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> No. What's going on? Let me see. Let me go to the tarot. Maybe it'll help me a little bit more. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. Now, we did see victim consciousness down here. So... Somebody shifting the blame or holding on to something. Well, let's see. Now, where are the cards? We're going to go to Old Faithful. Now, I got to fix the card. Is they upside down? That's what's going on here? I think so. I think they is crazy, y'all. Let me just use the other one because I ain't gonna do all that. I ain't got time for it, y'all. Now you got the Knight of Wands here with taking the action. However, we look and look. I told you, he got his shirt open, and you know that this right here, the Knight of Wands, is all about his his wand. With energy. <laughs> it breathes. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and boundaries. It's right on it, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Chill out. I'm telling y'all, look at that movie. Now, if I didn't mention it here, it's called uh, Fair Game. It's on Netflix, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. That was good. Now you have the Eight of Swords here on heel. And this is mental. Probably victim mentality. Need to do some self-reflection going on right there. With healing. Having the strength to do so. Grown up a little bit. Feels like it's going to be a victory. You got the seven to the six. Let me see. And you got eight. Seven, six, eight. And again, this could have been something from the past. Now you got justice right here with cross cross pollinate. Say what you mean, calm and lightning. Yeah, it, it looks like you're gonna be fair. Now this could be some type of information in that regard to bring the situation into balance. They could be divorce papers. I don't know. Somebody peeped the something. Look, they feeling like a waste of time. Yeah, somebody gonna somebody gonna out or something like that right there. Let 
Now, it could just be a mental state, y'all. Now, it could be about past relationships that you need to, to, to just let it go. Now, you got the Six of Pentacles right here on this cross pollinate, enlightenment, giving and receiving. Now, somebody might be getting some money in this with the rider. Learning something right here. Courage. Somebody could be stalking. Look at him. Looking stupid. A little conflict going on here. Competition. Yeah, somebody might have walked away. I got their mind right. told him to beat it. That's what came back to my mind just now. <laughs> Look at the lovers in the Empress. Now somebody could be pregnant. Somebody learning something about lovers. Or even how to communicate. It could be something like that. But it's right here with dude. And action is on the empress with boundaries and the emperors. And heal and breathe and dreams and do with a shirt open. I don't know what it is, y'all. Somebody could have somebody pregnant on the side for some of y'all. I see it. Or somebody could be pregnant. Now we do have dreams here. Now it could be tapping into your feminine energy. But it's right there on abundance and action boundaries. With heal and energy. And it's the number three, y'all. Let me keep going. Let me see. Could this be somebody wanting to uh, make babies with you? Or something like that. A life with you. Could be that too. But don't take away from nothing I said. Because I see all of it. And remember, everybody's situation is different. Now, I do look like, because it flew out just like this. Somebody going to wake up to something. In regards to this empress. She looking dead at her. Now, say what needs to be said is here for a reason. And she got that letter and that key. And balance is here. And don't make nothing fit, y'all. Because I don't want y'all to listen. If it don't resonate, let it go for somebody else. Now, here you go. With the Nine of Swords. Now you got the eight to the nine, telling you to say it, cross pollinate, get it off your mind, let it go. And this rider also has the number nine on it. And this enlightenment is 27, which is a nine. You're going to find out. I just said you was going to find out. Dig with the ace of wands. They were death and a rebirth. Somebody thinking about something. Hey, something grown. And I don't know if that's a baby or what. But somebody's head is definitely hurting in regards to a family situation. Need to heal from it. 
accomplish so many things, y'all. But whatever this is, it needs to come into balance. Some boundaries. And look at the wand showing up. Which is really giving me some type of relationship going on here. Two is on the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. We might have a runner on our hand. Somebody finna speak up. Look at him. Something got away from you, buddy. Now you're a little hurt. All up in your head. I think that's the masculine, y'all. Something coming to the light. Now this is on the page of swords. Shine. You got shine. You got the star in the sun here. The courage. Yeah, somebody might be facing a little karma right now. Look at that. Now, the other time, it was the five looking at that situation. Now, it's the four. Now, look at her. She in thought about something that's growing for some of y'all. In somebody's belly, maybe. Is somebody walking away? Now, I'm going to pull from these other cards, and if this girl come out here with that yellow dress on, I'm going to scream. There you go. You can't make it up. Now, this either indicates a three-way party situation or this situation resolving itself in a happy union. However, this is on a split. Somebody going in the hermit mood. Thinking it through. Whatever it may be. I don't know what it is. Now, I'm going to close it out with some um, advice. from Believe from your own magic. And if this girl come out with this yellow dress on, I'm going to flip. Let me see. Where is that? This is telling you to focus on the here and now. You earned all your stripes with this enlightenment. Evolutionary process. We read out the book. And you got the damn on number 33 showing up again right here. Right on destiny. And dreams. And healing. Now maybe that's just you and inference energy. Taking action on that with this enlightenment right here. Boy, and it's telling you, you deserve sugar, not salt. Focus on the here and now with your energy, not the past. Whatever went on back there, leave it back there, boo. Leave it. Because it could just be victim mentality that you're holding on to. It's time to wake up. Get out there in the world. Yeah. Now you got 12 and 13 down here. The girl in the yellow dress didn't come out. And I'm going to show it to you. Now it says don't seek anybody else's approval. Right here was shine and decisions. 
here. <laughs> Look, yeah, this is what I'm laughing at. It's like you got your own rose, or did he give it to you? I don't know. <laughs> you see the rose in her hand and rose in his hand. Now, I could just be talking to the masculine and the feminine. Hey, listen, whatever this thing is, now I'm saying it's swim away from this shark or this situation. Now, let me show you the girl with the yellow dress. Just so I can show you what I was thinking. But she ain't come out, so somebody might not be pregnant. Here. Can you see how she holding on the stomach? With the flower and being honest with yourself. So she ain't come out. However, this is telling you. Closed mouths don't get fed. Say what needs to be said. That's probably why I pulled that. Alright. Now, anyway, darling, that is your message. Hit the like button, share the video, and I will see you on the next one, my dear.